As a SOC analyst or a cybersecurity engineer, often you have to monitor the firewall events by looking directly at the firewall dashboard. And this is great because in case you identify uh, something suspicious, you can take an immediate action such as denying specific traffic or uh, restart uh, an interface that had uh, some type of error. Now, another option would be to receive those same events or alerts directly into your mailbox. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. We're going to see how to enable email alerts on a FortiGate firewall by using a Gmail account. Now, there are some pre-requirements that you have to meet in order to replicate this scenario. Okay, so first you're going to need internet connection. So make sure that your firewall has internet connection. In my case, I'll be using a FortiGate appliance, meaning hardware, and I'll connect the management interface to the internet. So you have to assign an IP address, you have to uh, configure the DNS and also the default gateway. So make sure your firewall is able to reach the internet. The second thing that you're going to need is obviously an email account and I'll be using Gmail. It's easy to set up and that's the one I'm going to use. Okay. So if you have all of these, that's enough to get started. As a reference, I'll be using this document from Fortinet that describes all the steps that we need to take to enable email alerts. Okay. Now let's go back to our FortiGate firewall and now we're going to system uh, settings and here we should select email service and we're going to enable use custom settings and for the smtp server we're going to specify and delete this one so we're going to type smtp.gmail.com uh, the port we're going to leave defaults authentication we're going to enable these and here we're going to type our email address so now the email address i'll be using so let me select, it's going to be Fortinet 80, Fortinet notifications. I'm just going to paste here. Now the password, that's not your same password that you use to log into your email. So now let's go back to uh, my Gmail account. And here we have to, okay, let's go to manage your Google account. And there is also another pre-requirement before we do what we're going to do. We have to enable uh, multi-factor authentication or 2FA, okay? If you don't enable this on your Gmail account, you won't be able to use the option that is required to uh, FortiGate send emails to your Gmail account. Now to do that, we go to security and on security, I'm going to enable two-step verification. Okay, two-step verification is enabled. So now we go to search Google account and let's search for app passwords. And here we're going to create a new app. So we're going to give it a name. I'm just going to name this as FortiGate um, Firewall 1. And I'm going to create this. And it's going to give me a password. So I'm going to copy this password. Now the password is going to look something like this. And all I have to do now is to remove the uh, blank spaces and copy this password and paste into the password here for my email. Okay, I'm going to paste the password here on FortiGate and I'm going to click on apply. So we have configured the SMTP server. So now we have to create uh, the events that are going to cause the FortiGate firewall to send an email. Okay, so next we go to security fabric automation and here we're going to create a new stitch and uh, let's give it a name. So if we go back to, uh, that should be this one. Yes, email alerts. So here on email alerts, uh, in the section automation, automation stitches. So we can see all the steps that we have to do. And the first one is going to be to create uh, an event related to admin fail. Okay, so we're going to copy here the name. It's going to give this name admin fail and we're going to add a trigger. Now the trigger, we can choose one of these or we can create a new one. And that should be, let's see, that's going to be 40 OS event log. So that should be 40 OS event log. 
All right, let's give it a name admin fail now we're going to select the event so that should be admin fail admin login failed for example okay and we're going to click ok we're going to select this admin fail and we're going to apply as the trigger so it means that if an, an admin that tries to log in fails is going to cause the fourth gate to do something what is this thing what is the what's going to be the action so we click on action and here we're going to create a new notification and that's going to be email now we're going to give it a name i'm just going to copy here the event name for this one and that's going to be admin fail email i'm just lazy i don't want to type all of these uh, uh we're going to type the destination email that we want to receive that's going to be our mailbox so i'm going to back to my mailbox so because i don't have this top of my head so two that's going to be the email we'll be sent to as for the subject uh it's going to be like admin log in failed let's go back and paste and it's going to leave it to send uh the body the message according to its uh, default template so we're going to click ok we're going to select admin e fail email and we're going to apply so we created a trigger which means that if an admin tries to log in to the firewall and it fails it's going to trigger an action and this action is to uh fortigate send a notification email to that destination email we just uh defined so we're going to click ok so we just created the first stitch now let's create another one so that in case an admin makes a change on the fortigate firewall it's also going to cause the fortigate to send an email so we're going to create a new one now we're going to give it a name so it should be here i'm just going to copy the name uh, config change now the trigger will be so let's go to create configuration change okay create i'm going to select these and apply now the action will be to send an email we're going to create a new entry and the name will be like config change email now the destination email will be fortnet notification and the subject uh, is going to be config change so i think there was configuration change yeah that's the one configuration change um yeah and that should be enough okay we're going to click ok we're going to select this uh action that we want the firewall to take and then we're going to click ok as well so now we created two uh automation stitches or two events that are going to cause the fortigate firewall to send an email now let's see whether this is going to work or not so first thing first uh let's go to user authentication user groups and i'm going to create a new uh let's go to user definition and create a new user there's going to be a local user now it's going to be uh Celesio, the password click on next and just click on next and next so we just did a change so now let's log out and try to log in so admin blah 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 the password so again okay and we have two authentication failures and one configuration change now let's go to our mailbox and see if we receive all of these notifications and yes we did and you can see here first one was configuration change detected so from device we can all customize all of these uh, fields here we have device name we have the event time uh and we have here configuration change by this admin and the message configuration is changed in the admin session okay so and the other one admin login failed we can see the timestamp 
uh, event time. So which VDOM admin login failed. We have the username that was tried to log in and also uh, the source IP as well, the destination IP. So we have here because invalid username. So let's go back to the other one. That's the same event admin login fail. So you can see that it's very easy to set up and it's very customizable on what we want the first gate to send to us. And there are also other events. Now let's log in again now with the correct credentials. Now, if we go to uh, security fabric automation and let's suppose the trigger. So we have different uh, triggers that we can select, uh, like the, if the network interface changes, uh, HA failover, uh, license expired notification and others that we can select and we can enable so that the fourth gate sends an email directly to us as the network admins or security engineers. So if you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and I'll see you on the next one.